This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic. This video I'm going to be discussing how to write equations of lines and these are some special cases. We're going to do these four problems on this video. All right, so here's the first one. The slope is undefined and negative 2, 4 is on the line. So there's a couple ways of approaching this problem. One is to go ahead and draw the line. So we've got negative 2, 4 on the line, which is right here. And we know the slope is undefined. And here's what we have to remember. A vertical line has a slope that is undefined. So if you were going to draw this, you have to say, oh, right, that is this vertical line. Now, if you look at this line and you're trying to figure out what the equation is, what you could do is just take some ordered pairs on the line. And let's see, we, we know that we've got, let's make a little chart. We know we have negative 2, 4, and then it looks like, well, here's another point, like negative 2, 0, and here's another one, negative 2, 1, etc. And you notice, wait a minute, minute, in all of these ordered pairs, x is always the same number. It's x equals negative 2. That's exactly the equation of the line. So the answer is x equals negative 2 because y can be anything. So if I say that x equals negative 2, all these ordered pairs would be solutions, right? You would put a negative 2 for x and it would, you'd have a true equation. Now you don't have to do this. When you see that the slope is undefined, you can remember that all vertical lines are of the form. A vertical line has the form x equals something. I call it k. So if we look over up here, and we, we can see that whatever x is in this ordered pair, that will be what I have to put for my k. So that's without having to draw a picture. Here's our next one. This time we have a line where the slope is 0 and negative 2, 4 is on the line. We can start it the same way. Draw, if you're not sure how to start, is always a good start. Find that point go from there. So here's negative 2, 4. Now the slope is 0. You do have to remember that we a line that has a 0 slope is a horizontal line. So you might remember what the equation looks like when the slope is 0 from thinking about y equals mx plus b. Notice if you put in 0 for x, I'm sorry, not for x, for m, put in 0 for m, you would end up with y equals 0 times x plus b. So it's of the form y equals b, in other words, whatever the y-intercept is, or whatever the y-coordinate is in that ordered pair. It will be the same thing. Notice that the y-intercept here is 0, 4, b, then is the number 4. So there's y equals 4 for this equation. Now the other way you could have done that is you could have just, again, listed a bunch of ordered pairs and noticed in all of these ordered pairs, the y-coordinate is always 4, just like we did the previous problem where all of the x-coordinates uh, were the same. They were negative 2. So our equation of this one is y equals 4. All right, here's our next one. The order pair 2, 5 and negative 3, 5, they're both on this line. So again, if you'd like to, you could always just plot those. So see, so you have 2, 5 right here, and negative 3, 5 is about right here. So I see that I'm going to get a horizontal line. And then we just did a problem where we had a horizontal line. We could see what the y coordinates are always the same, right? So if you made a chart, or here's the easy way. If you have 
two ordered pairs on the line, and you've got the same value for the y-coordinate, the y-coordinate is the same for both of them, then your equation will be y equals that particular number. So y equals 5 is this equation, just looking at the two order pairs. But you could have done it the, the way we did it previously, which is look up here and write down all, the, all of the order pairs, right, in a chart, you'll still see that the y values are always going to be 5. So the easy way for this one is, if you ever notice, you've got the same y-coordinates, for two different order pairs on the line, then y equals 5 in this one. Now see if you can figure out this one on your own. So negative 1, 3, and negative 1, 0 is on the line. So you could try plotting those points, or you might notice something interesting about these two order pairs. Think about that. If you want, put the video on pause. Okay, so hopefully you note that the x-coordinate is the same in both order pairs, so what do you think it's going to be this time? x is the same, so x is always have to be that particular number. The other way you could have done this, if, again, is to go ahead and graph it. So we've got negative 1, 3, that's right here, negative 1, 0, and then you could have drawn the line and reasoned it out a different way, which is you know, write down a bunch of order pairs on that line. Again, you're going to notice all the order pairs, the x is always negative 1. All right, so these are some special cases. And in all of these, you should be able to tell um, what the equation of the line is, what the slope of the line is. What's the slope of this line? This is the vertical line. So it didn't ask, but the slope is undefined. Let's go back to each of them. What's the slope of this line? We have the horizontal line, slope is 0. You could write 0, or you could just write the slope 0 if you want to write out the words. And on the previous two problems, the slope was actually given, right? We are only given one ordered pair and the slope. So let's just have you try a couple quick problems without having to draw anything. So here's four problems for you to try. Put the video on pause and try these, and then come back. All right, so let's try these. Number one, the slope is zero. All right, so what does that mean when the slope is zero? That is the horizontal line. So if we, that means we could put in zero for m, that's gonna be y equals something. So we know it's gonna be y equals, and whatever y is in this particular order pair will be your answer. Next one, both six, five, and six, three are on the line. Ah, I've got, the same value of x in both of those, so this x is always going to be 6, so x equals 6 is our equation. Next one, 5, 1, and 0, 1 are on the line. This time, the y coordinate is the same for both of them, so y has to always be that number, y equals 1. And the last one, let's see, the slope is undefined. All right, that's a tricky one. When the slope is undefined, you can't put it in the form y equals mx plus b, so that's the hint. It's going to be x equals something. It's going to be a vertical line, and we just look and see what the, oops, wrong thing, that's the, need to underline the x coordinate, so x is 8. And there we go, those are the special faces. This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic.